Hello there, Golfer here, and welcome back to my play of Civ 5 as Greece. We last left off. Uh, we are with this encampment and then immediately making a beeline back from my capital because uh, apparently they decided they wanted to have some fun. And I've got my other guy over there kind of preoccupied, fortunately. get over there that way but whatever bust that fog so the ship will be done in three turns oh you already have the granary done I'll just move it over and start that right away Wow, I'm running out of stuff to build. That's great. Wow, holy cow, man. You're just going crazy with them. But there's nowhere I really want to settle. I feel like, oh my gosh, that's a great place. We can settle there. Like uh, these two were. This wasn't even that great of a place. It was just because it's a good launching point. And there's nowhere that great around here. So, well... Heck, you already got a missionary? So Athens might actually be a better place to trade from when it comes to money. Now that I have the harbor, it'll go farther. I also have more gold there. I think that also affects uh, gold per turn options. Something to consider with new trade routes. Oh, look at that. We can just go ahead and... Send that food over. So that brings me, that doubles my excess food. So I should see a nice spike in growth in the capital. Um, yeah, you here. So the question is, wait, why do I only, oh, I haven't built it yet. Er, yeah, we want to keep going with the production or anything else because Martha doesn't have enough. It only has, that uh, basically doubles the production that's a lot used to build. Um, Alright, looking good. I steal a tech next turn, assuming I don't get caught. That's the big one. a bit of gold now but right back so trade routes available by highest gold is Athens to Jakarta wait it'd be this way um this has no maintenance apparently so it wouldn't hurt to build it also kind of unnecessary. Um, I want to keep the growth going. I don't really want to... Uh, I guess we'll just build it. Why not? Uh, oh. Oh, I'm wow, still on him. Okay, so we're working on education. So I get what I want faster, but I, I actually don't particularly care for that per se. Um, what I would like is the most efficient, which is the most expensive, which in this case, I think we're going to go down f physics first. I heard defeat here. And that... Uh, that'll help me get printing press faster. All right, how long till I can steal again? 17 turns? Pretty sure it's still pretty high level. Yeah, max potential. Uh, establish a trade route. Highest gold. Now yeah, we can now trade over here. 
This gives me the highest gold. Actually, it gives him the highest gold as well, but that's fine. Um, let's go on the city. Any useless tiles? I'm not a huge fan of you working that wine, actually. I, I think I'd lose, what, three, four gold if I do. But I like either... We don't need the production because I've got so much. So working a farm would probably be better. I lose three gold but gain two food. So that's another... person. Oh, it's locked. No wonder. Where would you rather go? You'd still want to go there? Okay. Um, I put him here. I get 2.2 production. Yeah, we'd, I'd rather you do this. And heck, I got a great rider. I don't really need another one. Let's, for now, do this and just get you growing as fast as possible. For now, anyway. I don't care about you. Build the mine. Build farm on building farms ouch that really hurt healed yet yeah i hope you just healed because I'm pretty sure i told you to heal and not alert i wish there was a heal alert and heal until until full, alert until fully healed i think that would be so much better But no. Uh, return the unit. I have no need of it. Oh, hello. Okay. We're in encampment. Pretty okay. We'll just get Athens to grow as much as possible. Circus Maximus. There's no reason not to build it in, to, to build it in my capital, but I think I'm going to keep doing so. Um, where do I start getting the projects? Ah, education in five turns. Okay, that's good to know, considering that I need to be able to do something. Uh, I guess a trebuchet? There, I remember to not complete it because I have no real need of it. Yeah, sure, fine. You know where I am now. I actually get a boat all the way in through here. Oh god, you got another one showed up? Oh wow, there's also silk here? That's funny. It's not enough... ...reasons to put it- I mean... ...sitting here wouldn't be terrible. Ended up pretty much like I expected it to.
So. Where this spawn? Yeesh, I am getting no rest. Scooch this way. Messianic, are you gonna like finish that? Thank you. Service Maximus. All right. Back. I'm really surprised I have not been attacked yet. Not funny. As long as I got tiles to work. Might as well just keep having Athens Pro. We're gonna have plenty of specialist slots in here. I'd rather have the pop to uh, take care of that. Uh, yeah, I can attack again since I can only get attacked by one and it would be a super weak one. Alright, what were you doing? That was your previous. I have the option of a tenor. Four. It's also ten. And an eight compared to. Yeah, it's. That's it. I say do it. I'm thinking Corinth will be a kind of secondary science hub because we've got a decent number of jungle tiles around. Um, I don't tremendously, given how fast it's more or less grown, don't see a tremendous need to worry about improving it too much. And this just gives plus five happiness, so I don't particularly care for it. So we'll actually focus on the utility. Chalk up our city here as well. I would like the harbor because that would actually get positive gold. Pay for itself. I caught you in time for the trebuchet. I'm going to specifically in that city, which I don't care for. Or I'd rather have it in my capital. Athens actually could use a production boost now. But uh, I'm happy with where it, how it's going. Yeah, having just naval cities and then focusing just on internal trade is a little broken, I'm not gonna lie. Good on happiness, I'm going to be getting more, so... But, uh, yeah, it's it's just like, I mean, eight, eight food per turn. I mean, if you have three cities, you could send 24 food per turn to a city. That is kind of ridiculous. All right, who wants horses? Who want horses? Now I have positive gold, which is interesting. Uh, I don't particularly have excess resources.
he's getting quite aggressive with the cities. Uh, no. Man, you're really over the wonders, aren't you? How come you guys haven't started fighting yet? You know what? I will take that. That is one less person I have to worry about. Considering that, you know. By the time I'm ready to attack him, I'm probably going to want a navy, to be honest. So I do want these cities to kind of be buffed up a bit so I can actually build a navy. And then from here, I can take out his capital and have my land troops take out the rest while I circle over and then take out Rio. But I would need a pretty large military for that. But I do want to spam like privateers at some point so that I can get destroyers that are uh, good at attacking other ships and potentially stealing them. So like an army of like 10 of those would be terrifying. So I need a lot of gold this game. But, uh, yeah, it's not worth getting that policy. Is this what you really wanted? Yeah, I'll accept for now. You said a city in between us, then, oh boy, in between my cities. Ooh, that would be bad for you. Wait till I get fertilizer. Not particularly good. How long can you have? One turn to ten. Yeah. That. Here. Here. run away from him if he attacks you. It's a big deal, but I don't think it will be. It's, uh, pretty straightforward in uh, the continent. Once again, like I'm bummed this is just an inland sea that I can't uh, do anything about. That's also a good thing. That means that this canal city was really worth it then. Because I can get all the way over here, which I'm pretty sure this is all ocean. So I can this way or this way. It worked out. But the uh, Greek Navy will uh, be the deciding factor of this game, I think. I guess this swordsman is the issue. Since he's no longer locked to a encampment, I would like to pair with him promptly. Oh, I just realized I have enough faith to buy buildings. So two, culture, faith, and happiness, along with the extra tourism. Faith, happiness, culture, and tourism. Whereas over here... Wait, are you not religious? You are religious. You have no buildings. No. Oh, wait, no, you do. I thought I could see cathedral. There it is. Yeah, one compared to this. Heck no, we're not the pagoda. Pagoda is the best one. Arm. Uh. Interesting how it's going for so hard on production. I'm going to like pros and then. Yeah, you know what? I won't mind this. Let's all be friendly. 
Since his army appears to be heading this direction. Okay, sure, let's be friends. Let's let's not fight. Even though he's also neutral. I'm a no and honestly, even though I was like I kinda want to attack him, I'm not sure that'll happen. Saw that coming. Okay, let's not attack again though, because it's almost giving Denmark a free kill. Athens has grown. Actually, if I take you off of manual and put you on a food focus. Oh god, that's terrible. Um, over the production? Yeah, I think over the production. We need the production. So eventually we might come back to this, but the question is whether or not you'll grow before that becomes an issue. Looks like it'll be really close. At least for one pop. For the second pop, I might. For the second farm, I might want to manually do that. That's good. Athens is good, good shape. I'm going to miss out on the production from the hydroelectric plant here, but... You're going at it again, huh? Darn it, you still got the kill, really? Never. Oh, well, I mean, I'm friends with the three people that are closest to me. The, including the number one. How much longer to research 13 more turns? We get a nice pick there. Where are you? Over there, don't care. We now have a trade route. I'm getting 50 gold per turn, which is excellent. Probably the most gold per turn I've had in the game at all. Oh, look at that. Not the first to meet him. Isn't surprising given how long this game's been going. But uh, it's something. Well, I'm so far liking my three city build. I think it's, it's gonna be enough to slingshot me. See also how it's quite far away for Oxford. Okay, as this turn finishes, I'm gonna adjust my tech. I do want to get that observatory quickly, but I think rushing for the tech right before. the uh, hole is also important. So we want astronomy. I'm going to bum rush you. Oh, that's pretty far out. So astrology printing press economics we can bum rush specialization while I go down chemistry. Plus I'm going to get some steels in here. I don't need acoustics. Actually, which means I probably should have held back because I steal pretty... Yeah, I steal next turn. Probably should have held back on astronomy, but I've already committed quite a bit to it, so I don't want to throw any more in. Probably get acoustics just because... Assuming he has it. Has the Sistine Chapel been built? No. You need a great engineer, too. That's something to consider. And they really are making Athens multi, uh, multi-religious. Do we have another potential canal city? <laughs> Not that I would probably want it because there's nothing here. Uh, oh, really? Only thing I can steal is... That's worth it, is steal. Alright, um... I'm tempted to move now. Do I know who has the highest in tech? We're now falling behind a bit. I am below average. Uh, let's... Oh, 11 turns? Oh, heck no, I'm not moving then. 
Hope he hasn't moved a spy in there. I'm trying to catch up with them in science. And my science is improving. If, if I have coal and if I have enough gold and if I can get all my national stuff built before coal gets revealed and then I realize I have to throw a city somewhere buy everything yeah that's a canal location in fact there are two canal locations over there um, we're gonna send you over to my capital Here, here. Uh, encampment's there. That's actually not too far away, so we'll move it. Okay, build the armory. We're building that and build the armory. Our camera goes only melee? Non air. Oh, non air. So that would include chips too. So yeah, we definitely want to build that there then. Getting uh, six culture per turn. We actually are doing kind of decent in that regard. No. I'm not going to give you gold. Are you kidding me? You have 31 and only getting one per turn. But you also have a bunch of crabs that you just are not selling, I guess. Or working. So we have two potential city. Old Faithful. Fortunately, not in range of. We have one, two, three tiles that could be canal cities. Not a good tile, not good. We do have silk. I mean, if there's coal I can reach with the city here, then that might be worth it. But that's a long ways from my capital. But, you know, throw a harbor over there. It's fine. The other thing that's nice about having cities that have uh, harbors and such is that they automatically get the bonus from railroads. Pretty important. Or it has grown, which is good. It draws into the Renaissance, okay. Probably want to find him next. Oh, I did throw a city over there. Three. It's actually not a terrible city location. If just in regards of like resources and and uh, overlap. Nice. Why is there an Inquisitor here? Um, we'll go rush for that. Unfortunately, I cannot build the stone works. That's how it goes, I guess. Let's try it again. Turn 250 here pretty quick.
I'm liking this a heck of a lot more than the other game, I can tell you that much. I have a plan of action that I can foresee. That's really helpful to my morale. A minor victory, really? Jeez, that's not great. Here, she was over. You can do that. That now means that. That growth. And to be off of manual. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that works out perfect. I don't even work in that wine. I don't care about that wine tile. Shoot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video off here. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.